FYI, I had way too much coffee, so my hand was literally shaking like this while I was doing makeup. I had to like, oh, get it together. Hey guys! So, well first and foremost, my hair is obviously different. I'm pretty sure it was a big surprise um, how much my hair changed um, from my previous video, which was the Boyfriend Does My Makeup Tag video. I wanted to do like a video updating my hair before I posted that, but we already filmed it and I just wanted to just post it up because it was just funny. So I'll put the link down below um, to the video so you guys can watch it. It's actually pretty damn funny. So, But yeah, other than that, um, since then my hair did wash out a bit. It was a bit more on the blue tone gray silver side. Um, but I actually like this a lot better. It's like a much more, uh, what do you call this? steel gray tone. But yes, I don't want to ramble too much, but if you guys would like a separate video um, about my hair, like what color it is and what the cut is like, leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. I'm actually thinking of going back to update. I don't know. I've had this hair for a while. I mean, obviously you guys don't really know, but if you follow me on Instagram, you guys would know that I've had this hair for a while. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> By the way, most of the products that I used are pretty much all matte. Um, I am a huge sucker for matte products, like matte eyeshadows, matte lipstick, um, matte eyebrows. So like always, I will put the list of the products that I've used down below. Alright, that is all for my intro. I don't want to ramble too much because you guys are always like, you ramble way too much. <laughs> Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like this look. Um, and if you have any questions uh, or requests, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get on with the video. Okay, so I've already primed my skin using this Shu Emura Pore Eraser Primer, and as you can see, I love this primer. Um, and from here, I'm just using my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in Medium Ivory, and I'm just dabbing it all over my face before I blend it out with this Sigma F80 brush. Um, and I'm just going to dab and apply slash blend it to my skin. Now I'm just going to use my Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS and I'm just going to apply that on the highest points of my face as well as some blemishes. And I'm going to use this Itty Bitty Mini Beauty Blender and I'm using that fat side um, to dab and blend it into my foundation. Going with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to use that pointy side from the Mini Beauty, mini beauty blender um, and I'm going to blend it out using dabbing motions. Real quick I'm just going to go back to my F80 brush and blend the concealer into my foundation and now I'm going to use my mineralized skin finish in light plus and my real techniques buffing brush to set all that in. Now this contour kit and that banana powder inside this contour kit is everything. This totally sets and brightens your under eye like it's nobody's business. For my eyebrows, I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in number 15 and I'm using my Anastasia brush in number 12 to apply it. And now we're going to prime our eyes using this paint pot in Painterly by MAC and I'm just using my fingers to apply them. And now it's time to bring out this beautiful new palette by Stila and this is the Eyes Are The Window palette in mind. And I'm using that really soft peach color with my MAC 217 brush to use as a base. And going with that tan color right next to it, I'm using that same brush to apply and blend it out to my crease. Using that medium reddish brown color right there, I'm using my Sigma Exact Blend Brush in E32 um, and I'm just going to work my way up from the lid area. Um, you don't have to worry about making the blending perfect at this point because we're going to be going back and forth with applying and blending. 
I'm also going to apply that to the bottom half of my lash line and I'm just going to repeat the same process onto my other eye. Now going with my Sigma pencil brush in E30, I'm going to use that beautiful dark reddish brown color and I'm just going to apply that onto the outer corners. Here I'm using my Sigma blending brush in E25 and I'm just using a touch of that light brown color we used to blend all the colors out. Next, I'm just using my MAC 239 brush and going with that creamy white color, I'm just going to apply that onto my brow bone for a highlight. Next, I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Crave and I'm just using that to line my lash line and you don't have to worry about making the liner so perfect at this point because we're going to end up blending and smudging that out later. And here, I'm just going to tight line my upper line, lifting my eyelid up using my fingers. And we're also going to line our bottom half of the waterline. And now I'm just going to smudge all that out using my Sigma pencil brush that we used previously and blend it all out into the eyeshadows. For my lashes, I'm using my Pixie Lux Lashes by House of Lashes. That's a lot of lashes. And look at the difference it makes. Girl, yes. Oh, and I use this House of Lashes glue, which is my favorite at the moment, and it's just so gross right now because I've like overused them. And this Skinny Mascara by Innisfree is perfect for my non-existing bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to quickly contour using my Too Faced Bronzer in Medium Deep and I'm just using my MAC 168 brush to apply and blend it out. Going back to my contour kit, I'm using that color in Fawn to contour my nose. And if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on how I contour my nose, please let me know on the comment down below. For blush, I'm using my MAC blush in Seduce That Sea. This was from a limited edition collection previously, but I'm just using my Sigma F10 brush to apply it. Next for highlight, I'm using this Hourglass Ambient Palette in Incandescent Light, and this is so pretty. Look at that glow! Finally, for the perfect fall lips, I'm using my Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color in Merlot. And you can keep it nude if you'd like, but I thought this lip color was perfect for this look. And here is a close-up of the finished look. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see next and I will see you all next time. Bye!